So now we are going to talk about the natural resource that is the forest. So forest is an important natural resource as it is a habitat of number of plants and animals. So it also provides us with the trees, the wood that is which is used as a furniture and for the paper and for other uses. There are so many herbs and other kind of forest products. So exploitation, over exploitation of these forest, it disturbs the environmental setup. Forest not only a habit of plant and animals, it is not only a source of products. Forests are the lungs of the earth, which helps to restore the oxygen content in the air, which helps for a good rainfall, that is further uh, for agriculture, irrigation and all, for all such things. So that is the importance of the forest, which we are learning from lower classes in many subjects like in social studies, in sciences, we are learning. So the forests are being exploited and deforestation takes place. The forest land is cleared for industries and for agriculture and for urbanization, cities and for wood, the forest is being cleared. Every year, 36 million acres. That means half the size of our state, that much amount of forest is disappeared from this globe because of the deforestation activities. So that much of damage is being happened to the forest. So how this deforestation is affecting our life? Deforestation. How is it affecting our life? The two major effects of deforestation are greenhouse gases. Greenhouse effect is caused because of deforestation. What is that greenhouse effect? The temperature of the earth is increased. The radiation that come from the sun is that is re-reflected on the earth surface that is due to the cutting down of forest. The temperature is increased. So that is what happens with the deforestation. The carbon dioxide is not properly absorbed. There is no sufficient greenery to absorb the carbon dioxide. So as the carbon dioxide is increased in the atmosphere, it increases the radiation that is called as greenhouse effect is caused because of deforestation. So the deforestation itself it contributes 15 percent, 15 percent is of the credit for this greenhouse effect goes to deforestation. So the greenhouse, uh, greenhouse effect may be caused of because of so many reasons. Out of those reasons the 15 percent credit is taken by this deforestation. And what is the second problem? One is greenhouse effect and what is the second problem that is caused by deforestation? The second most important problem is problem to the tribals. So what problem? The tribals are dependent on the forest for their food, for their firewood and they collect the product of the forest in a safe and harmonious way which do not harm the plant and animal life in the forest. So they lose their livelihood. So they will be hunting, it, within a limit they will be hunting. So they lose all the opportunities of their livelihood. So their life is entirely different from the life, uh, urban life. They don't have any greed for the things. Just they use the things only to get their survival. They do not over exploit and overuse the things. And the forest product is very safely collected by them. They know how to go to the product and how to collect it. So everything, the livelihood of the tribals is disturbed. So sustainable forestry practices are critical or very much important for the protection or for the conservation of the forest as they were taken by Bishnois. Bishnois of Rajasthan. You might have heard about Amrita Devi and her daughters who clung the trees and to protect the, to prevent the trees from cutting down, which was the order of the king to cut the wood to build his uh, palace. So the villagers, they protested the cutting down of trees by clung them, clinging them, holding them with their hands not to cut and sacrificed their lives. So we realized that it was a very great movement towards the conservation of the forest. So the king was ordered to cut down the trees to build his palace, but it was protested by these Bishnois. So they have a set of 29 rules. 
that is to preserve the coexistence way of life living with the plants and animals coexistence way of life so that is they prote they protested the cut down of the tree so this incident it shows that the importance of conservation of the forest so that means the bishnois they give the inspiration that as they have taken a pledge for a peaceful coexistence in the nature and considered them as bishnois with some certain set of rules so it inspires it gives a good inspiration as it shows that how much struggle they felt to protect to conserve the nature so that time they recognized even though the technology and other things other data reports were not given how the environment is affected so they understood that the forest is a part of our life nature is a part of our life and they noticed that they recognized that importance of the nature of the trees that they play a very crucial role in our life so what type of conservation methods we can follow so now let us look at the various steps initiatives or the preventive measures that can be taken to conserve the forest so as like a bishnois of rajasthan we we have seen we can see the chenchus of our state so which shows the sustainable way of living and coexistence in the forest they do not damage the forest property but very carefully they collect the forest products and uh, very carefully they go for a limited hunting and make their living so now let us see the various steps that can be taken low impact logging methods or techniques are to be followed that is to conserve the forest and the next one harvesting with a natural regeneration in mind when the harvest is taken from a forest see that the product is regenerated that idea must be there in the mind and third one removing all high value trees is it should be condemned avoided it is a wrong thing removing all high value trees is a wrong thing should be avoided this is a wrong practice should be avoided the other practice removing all the large trees that also should be avoided the main reason for which the forest is cut down for furniture for wood so alternates can be found nowadays plastic furniture is used this is an alternate for the wood it reduces the consumption of the wood but proper disposal of plastic is needed the other thing is cane furniture made out of cane cane is a kind of grass that can be used bamboo kind of a grass of course the bamboo is also a kind of tree and which is falling a short which is found in the forest it has to be collected carefully so these are alternates can be found and the other important thing that is used is paper extensively used worldwide the paper in many of the countries like in china and mexico the paper is recycled every paper writing paper wrapping paper uh, whatever the so the paper is recycled even the cardboard is recycled so the every paper in the world is recycled we can reduce more than half of the demand will be met by the recycled paper than the fresh paper so we could conserve number of trees falling down for the reason of making new paper so if you wanted to waste a white bright paper if you wanted to make use of a very white paper you can you have to keep that in your mind that to produce that white paper lot of wood is used lot of chemicals are used to bleach the paper to bring you a white paper so do not waste the papers that is made at the cost of the life of a tree that is the cost of that a part of the environment is damaged for your development for your growth for your comfort for your work to make a paper so in such a way the conservation steps are to be taken to reduce the deforestation 